Hi, my name is David and in this video we're going to have a look at the multi-matching task of the C1 Tetaklis listening exam. So, in this type of task you will have to listen to several speakers and you'll have to choose which option corresponds to each speaker or topic. It can be several speakers or just one speaker talking about several things. Before you listen, read the instructions and the different options. Underline the key words in each option. And remember, there are extra options that are distractors that you don't need to use. Here's a typical uh, exam. Okay, you'll hear people talking about vegetarian diet. For questions 8 to 13, choose which option A to I corresponds to each speaker. There are two extra opinions which you do not need to use. First one, zero has been done for you in this example. Write your answers on the answer sheet, provided you'll do that at the end of the exam. You can see there, speaker one, the answer is H. Okay, that's the example answer. I think moderation is the most important thing. Speaker two, well, we'll have to listen later. And you have there the different opinion options which correspond to each speaker. Remember, there are two extra ones which you don't need to use. Okay, it's important to underline the key words in the instructions and also in the different options. Here you can see the key words. So we've underlined uh, the words that might be important for you so you get an idea. Remember, you've got some time before you listen each time to focus on the key words and underline them. So you hear people talking about vegetarian diets. There are two extra options. They're things you need to remember. Okay, our bodies are designed to eat certain food. I have a controlled diet, but often eat less healthy food. You'll be hearing things that mention that. I like to take a practical business-like point of view. I think modern life allows us more freedom to, what, to eat what we like. We have choices based on quantity rather than quality. I haven't forced others to make the choices I made, that they made. I became a vegetarian to lose weight. I think moderation is the most important thing, and my health has improved by following a certain diet. So first try to understand the general idea in each extra and try to listen for keywords they use. Good idea to make some notes next to the speakers or the options. Try to choose the answers to each question that you think are correct and mark the answer that you think is correct the first time you listen. Second time you listen, check that each of your choices matches what the speaker says and make any changes you think necessary. So it's good to try and get the answers the first time and you can check the second time. So, now we're going to listen to the first part of this recording. Zero is an example. Try to listen for the words which are similar or opposite meanings, okay, to what you can read in the example. In the record, so let's have a listen. Speaker one. I eat fish. I eat chicken. I eat red meat. I eat vegetables and fruit. Do I eat anything to excess? No. A varied diet consisting of all of the above, combined with exercise, will allow you to lead a healthy and fulfilling life. You know, people on both sides of this fence will argue that their opinion, backed up by various facts, of course, is the smarter, healthier alternative. I fear that we spend too much time arguing over issues such as this, while perhaps ignoring more pressing problems. Speaker 2. I've been a vegetarian for over four years now, and although I still eat eggs and occasionally cheese, I feel a lot healthier for it, and I find I get sick a lot less since changing my diet. It may not be the diet, but either way, vegetarianism seems to be the factor that's changed a lot of things, including weight, health, and most importantly, my cooking abilities. Okay. So, let's have a look, okay? In the recording we hear, do I eat anything to excess? No, okay? And this 
connects with that idea. I think moderation is the most important thing. What about speaker two? What did you put? Well, I feel a lot healthier for it and I feel I get sick a lot less since changing my diet. So the answer is I, my health has improved by following a certain diet. Let's listen again. Speaker one. I eat fish. I eat chicken. I eat red meat. I eat vegetables and fruit. Do I eat anything to excess? No. A varied diet consisting of all of the above, combined with exercise, will allow you to lead a healthy and fulfilling life. You know, people on both sides of this fence will argue that their opinion, backed up by various facts of course, is the smarter, healthier alternative. I fear that we spend too much time arguing over issues such as this, while perhaps ignoring more pressing problems. Speaker 2 I've been a vegetarian for over four years now, and although I still eat eggs and occasionally cheese, I feel a lot healthier for it, and I find I get sick a lot less since changing my diet. It may not be the diet, but either way, vegetarianism seems to be the factor that's changed a lot of things, including weight, health, and most importantly, my cooking abilities. Okay, so... What do we need to remember when doing this part of the listening paper? It's important to read the different options before you listen to the recording. You're going to listen to it twice. Remember, there are extra options called distractors, which you do not need to use. Don't expect to hear exactly the same words you have on the exam paper. At the end of the whole test, transfer your answers to the answer sheet. You have some time to do that. Okay, I hope you find the tips about this part useful. Thank you. And now we're going to look at another part of the exam.